Peter McGregor started form rifle stocks in 2017. He makes stocks that improve your rifle, your air gun or your handgun. He explains the manufacturing process. How do you make a custom rifle stock? So we have a clamp in one section and that comes in. It cuts out everything for the adjustability. So all of that, all of the adjustability, a jig hole and then a jigs on the other side. Once that's done, uh, it goes into the rotary axes. Then that comes round and we get a ripping cutter in, get as much material off as possible, then come in with a 20mm ball end and it makes a, a good enough finish to then go and then get into the sanding process. You go through 80 grit and then you go from there on to 120. It just keeps on going down the different grits and then once you've got it so it's fine sanded, it gets a coat of oil, it dries, enough time for it to dry and then we 320 grit it back, then re-oil it, and then we wire wool it, and then we laser it, and then we oil it again, and then we buffer over. I love my shooting, I love my machinery, and I love woodwork. I just like combining it all together. I thought I saw a gap in the market with having it adjustable, having it uh, more custom, and having the ability for me to work with wood and firearms and pull it all together. There's so many different types of firearms from bolt actions, levers, to hand guns, to air rifles, and they're all slightly different, and I just like, I just like it. My idea was, Rifle stocks, uh, adjustable cheek, and fully adjustable. And then it went from a sporter stock into a thumbhole stock, into a more of a tactical stock, more long range. I've made loads of different designs of stocks uh, and then see what the customer wanted. This one, it takes uh, a normal rifle that you get, which could be in a synthetic stock, and it gives you the ability to use it, I feel better. You've got the cheek razor, you've got length of pull adjuster, and it just means that you can fit it to yourself if you're shooting prone, if you're gonna shoot with sticks. Whatever you're gonna do, you can, you, you, the amount of clothes you're wearing, you can bring that in. If it's nice and sunny like today, you can pull it back out again, so it fits you. This is our rimfire stock, and it's, again, to get something out of an injection molded stock. So you buy a rifle, uh, the action, the barrel, trigger, all fantastic. Sometimes the stock can let it down. So, and I feel personally that there's uh, certain rifles out there that the stocks come and they're quite small. Uh, and you sort of feel like you're climbing over it, your hand's not in the right place, your shoulder's too far forward, you, and it is more difficult to shoot. So this is, you can just take uh, Fantastic CZ, take it out of the stock, uh, and put it into something that is just a bit more durable. People like stocks to be ambidextrous. Uh, they like, uh, with thumb hole, I did quite a tight thumb, whole position. Everyone's got different hands. So some people have great big shovel hands and they, they find that it's rubbing slightly. And it's just, it, it's just for comfort when you're taking a shot. So having something that's got a big thumb hole means that someone with smaller hands can fit in it fine. Someone with big shovels can just go in there and it fits, you know, it's not going to start rubbing because when you start taking a shot, you're thinking about about something rubbing on the back of your knuckle or on the palm or something like that. I'm very lucky around here, there's lots of shooters, uh, shooting lots of different disciplines. So I can give a deer stalker that rifle, give someone who does targets, rim fires, anything, and just say, look, go away and play with it, come back, certainly with grips, handgun grips, uh, AR grips, FX grips, all those things, just take them away, use them, see how the shot feels, see how it fits, uh, come back and then they'll certain I, I give them a beach stock or grip and then they circle bits they don't like, go back, redo it and then give it back to them and then give it, once I've got that, then I then try to give it to as many people as I can to make sure that it's not just, I'm fitting it to one person. You know, it, it, it fits the majority of people out there. Form is based in Exeter in Devon. It's done especially well with the US market, exporting custom stocks and grips for popular rifles and pistols. The Marlin 
fantastic firearm. They're using it a lot more with optics and different scopes, different sights on them. So they needed, I felt it would be good to have a raised comb for their disciplines. Uh, and it's been an absolutely fantastic seller. Um, and for instance, with this one, we, we, we draw it up as a 3D model. I then put tool paths on it. I then machine out some jigs for it to get in the machine. I test it get them out, fit it, make sure it's okay, make sure the adjuster work fits in it. Um, and then again, give it to people, let them see what they want, uh, let them feel it. Um, different materials, this is a beach, one, beach stock, uh, price point is better, and it's sprayed black, which fits into the, the fore end that comes on the dark series, so then they don't have to buy both of them. You know, it, it, it works well. Uh, the Chiapa Rhino, that again has been an absolutely fantastic market over there. So we have, that's a target grip. This was is actually my one, um, Turkish Walnut with that one. Or we've got the Concealed Carry grip as well that just goes on. Obviously this is an LBR, um, but they get away with not having the coat hanger that sticks out the back over in the states that is legal yep that is fully legal it's over the certain dimensions otherwise it would be section five this one here is the smith and western this is a uh, an eu deactivated one that we use to to fit and we've been selling for the last three four years maybe um handgun grips for the smith and western uh this is a square combat version on an l k or l frame we also do the uh the round combat and we do that in the kl and the n frame um, we've also done uh 1911 grips uh, we've done colt double action well wow, we've done done some webley service rifle uh service pistol sorry um yeah Done, done lots of different handguns it's been it's been great fun military we've done a lot of uh, mag 58 and gpmg uh, machine gun we've done the bren the older bren number mark one and mark two uh, and service rifles enfield service rifles so we've done smle number one mark one we've done the number one mark three which is a very good seller in walnut um, and then we skip to the number four mark one and mark two they seem to be the big sellers. Uh, the L42A1, that's, uh, that's, that's also very good. Uh, and we do extra cheap pieces as well. 350 uh, Walnut Mag 58 stocks. That, that was a good one. That was a nice one. So, but yeah, I can't say where they went. <laughs> We're just getting over the COVID, Brexit, everything over the last couple of years, uh, which has put a a dampener on things but we are good we're doing really really well uh, enjoying it I would like to see um, to be employing more people I want at least another machine on the go and uh, to make some more fantastic would work for different firearms and with the shotguns we, we will have a look at it would be fun for more about form go to formriflestocks.co.uk